Hey guys, this is Grado and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. So guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up your DVR on your Android device or basically how to connect your DVR using an Android um, phone. All right? So right away guys, the DVR I'll be using for this tutorial is the Zosi um, home security system. I had a review and unboxing of that. I'll link to both on screen. Next, of course, along with the DVR setup and connected to the internet, there's a few things you'll need. Now let's start with the phone side of things. So the first thing you do guys, make sure you're connected to the internet. Once you are, you need to search for the um, live view or the app that will connect your DVR to your phone. Now to find that guys, most times, just go into your Play Store and of course search for the name of your DVR. And of course the app will come up. As you can see here, this is the Zosi View app. And it's made by Zosi Technology Company Limited, which is the creators of my DVR. And you're just gonna go ahead and install. Should take only a few minutes, depending on the speed of your internet connection. All right. So once it's installed, as you can see here, I have mine already installed. It's over here. So let me just find it up. And here you go. It says um, Zosi View. All right. So if you're having the Zosi app, you can actually just follow along directly to see what I'm doing. All right. So straight away, just go ahead and open up the app. Make sure you're connected to the internet after downloading still and once you do that guys you will come to this screen notice here you'll um, be asked to put in your username or you'll have to ask to register in your case just go ahead and hit register and once you register it will ask you the following information for your name password and the password is for the app itself confirm the password your email and of course your phone number once you have that or right, have done that guys you're going to come back again right to the login screen. You're going to type in your credentials and your password. Then you're going to log in. All right. Once you log in, the interface should look like this or almost like this. Mine is already set up, but I'm going to show you the main screen. And of course, right here, once you're right um, in this menu here, first thing you do is going to go into this menu over here. And notice you have the option for playback. That's for later or live preview. And of course, device manager. There's a message center, media files, and more. In this case, I'm going to go to Device Manager, and I might blur out sections of this because mine is already added, and I'm going to hit plus to add a new device. And here's the main screen. You'll notice it asks for several pieces of information. Username is already um, put in as admin. And of course, there is the device ID. You'll find that in your device or on top of the device written down, or you can scan with a barcode scanner. Um, next, there's the device name. You can just give it a unique name or just call it device 001. And of course, it asks for the password along with the number of um, cameras and so on. You can specify your number of cameras. It's already selected at four. You can change that later on, so don't really worry about that. And let's go straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is go over to the DVR. And once we're at DVR, we're just going to get the device ID. I'm going to show you how to find that on your device. Hi right, guys, here we are at my DVR. So number one, make sure that you're connected to the internet or LAN. As you see here, see LAN is connected in green. That's by attaching a Ethernet cable with the internet that goes straight back to the router. So to make sure that's up. Next, you'll notice over here, it gives me on the Zosi the information as the screen I showed you earlier on my phone. And of course, let me just come in a little bit closer. And of course, um, along here, we have the app for... Um, Android over here, Android and over here for um, the Apple Play Store and you can see the Zosi view along with a quick tutorial and this is the device ID. Now in order to scan your device you're going to go and hit the icon in the corner and then you're going to scan this code and it will actually give you your code. I might blur out mine as I don't want anybody to connect to my device. If you can't find it here because you have removed your stickers or they've gotten hole and worn out, next place you can actually go guys is over here. Once you're over here, which is the DVR itself, you're going to go straight into the menu. You're going to go to the main menu. And once you're in the main menu, as shown here, you're going to go into um, setup. Right? Sorry. Once you're in the main menu here, you're going to go to um, information. Once you're in information, you'll notice we have logs, we have online users, we have system, network. Once you go into system, guys, you'll notice you have all of the, the information, including your ID, which you can scan. I'll bear this out as well. 
uh, along with the Android app as well as the iOS app. It also give you the system number, firmware version, launch date, and of course the device ID is written out for you to manually write in. But of course I'll blur out mine so you cannot actually see that. You need to actually look at your own device to get this information. But the key thing here is the device ID which is given here and down here. So I'm going to go back to the phone. I'm going to show you how to actually scan the information and get that in. Alright guys, so as you saw earlier, the device ID, you can manually write it in or type it in if you know it. If not, you just click this small icon here. Now let me just exit, make sure it's exit first and then of course just stop. Once you tap the corner, once you're off, you notice it's scanning. If you place this on top of the DVR and there's a barcode, it will scan the barcode and then it will automatically um, input the ID. I don't want to show you my ID so I won't scan mine. It will auto, uh, be automatically placed in or you can manual as I said. The username, alright, so do not change the username. Make sure it remains as admin. Don't touch anything there. Password, that would be the password of the DVR already that's set inside of the DVR. And that's just an extra layer of security that's to make sure that even if somebody got your um, device ID, they won't be able to log in remotely as there is a secondary um, protection in the form of a password so once you put in the password device ID and of course device name which you can actually change or just leave it as is I advise you leave it as is you're just gonna go ahead and add device once you add device it's gonna appear here as mine I'm not showing your mine because of the code and that's my device ID as well so I'm just gonna keep that hidden so once you do that guys you're gonna go back to the main menu and of course, over here it says live, live preview. You might think it's not working, but notice it says ready. All you gotta do is hit the plus. Find your device, tap on it. It'll show you all four or eight cameras, depending on your device. We'll blur this out as well. And you just go ahead and select your cameras one at a time. So you can select them in number one, two, three, and of course there's four I won't be able to show you this for security concerns for security reasons but of course mine is now working as you can see it's streaming I'm getting playback and it's showing you um, exactly what's taking place in real time using the live preview feature alright so basically guys that's it on how to actually connect your um, camera oh also guys make sure that once you're in here you go back to um, information again on the, um, the main menu information and go to network in here you can see your IP address and of course um, some devices require that you actually input your IP address you can actually get the information from out of the um, system and you can perform um, basic tests but of course in here you'll only see your IP address um, subnet mask and so on depending on your network setup you can go ahead and um, just go ahead and get the information from here such so including your MAC address and so on Alright, so next guys, make sure you go into um, setup and of course network and again guys, you can see the information in here again pertaining to what ports been used, gateway, IP address and so on but just for the case of your um, internet to make sure everything is working right, let's go ahead and hit test ahead of time before setting up and notice it says ok, that means that the network is set up properly, your router is set to the correct settings in some cases your router might be blocking access and will not be able to access your um, camera such as um, for the live preview so you need to come in here and test if something is wrong here where it is saying there's an error and not saying okay you have to log into your router and once you log into your router you have to change some settings in there there should be um, a manual or information on this on your um, manufacturer's website so do bear that in mind before you actually do this and also I might blur out my um, information because again I do not want anybody accessing anything here alright so I'm just going to go ahead and um, exit and that's it basically alright guys so that's it basically now to set up the app as you can see it was working on my phone it's working quite well and of course it's not so hard once you read the manual or check out the information in the guides but using this it will be specifically for the Zosi or if you have a similar one you can actually use this video to figure it out. Alright guys, this is Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye.